Did you ever stop to worry that I might have killed myself over you? And if you had, it would have been easier than what I went through. Sleeping night after night with a man I didn't really love. Feeling his hands on my skin. Watching me undress. Taking baths and showers with me. Making me wear all sorts of... All right, I got the picture. I heard it. Let's go on to something new. You mean it? You and me, just the way it was? Not the way it was. Better. How could it be better than it was? I know so much more, Lewis. Paul has taught me so much. I don't want to hear about it. Let's keep it the way it was. Did I ever tell you about the time that Paul and I went skinny dipping on the Riviera? Don't tell me those things. It's not what you think. She's my secretary. I'll see you at the ferry. All right. I need those papers, Angel, and I need them bad. Oh, you mean you want me to... Don't tell me how you're going to do it. What I don't know won't hurt me. I'll see you tomorrow night at the Oakland Ferry at 12 o'clock. You're a good Joe. Lou, you are never going to believe what happened to me. You made it. Good girl. If I was, I never would have gotten the papers. You mean you and that pig Schlissel? You sent me there. Lou, it was terrible. Don't tell me what he did. He made me play war. I don't want to hear about it. He was a Stuttgart dive bomber and I was Poland. Forget it, I said. I had to pretend I was asleep, and then in the middle of the night, I heard these, these great big bombers overhead. Here. Why do you dames love to tell me these things? Keep it to yourself, all right? Now hand over the papers, because Marcel is about to check out. I don't have them. What? When I left Schlissel's place, that punk kid that works for Blubber grabbed me. I warned you about him. Didn't I warn you about him? He drove me out to the country on an old deserted road. Then he made me get out of the car. I don't want to hear it. He put me in front of the headlights, and he made me dance the karaoke. They know it gets to me. That's why they all torch me this way. Shall we say my place in 30 minutes? And make sure that punk kid is there. I got a score to settle with him. I heard about the karaoke. And the what? He did what? I'm hanging up. This could be the wrap up, Angel. And the kiss off for me, is that it? I don't know. Tell me nothing happened. Even if you lie, I'll believe you. Nothing happened. Jesus, it sounds worse than before. Mendeley. Denise Mendeley. Two days ago from Shanghai. Um, may I have my things, please? You're not a U.S. citizen? I spend a great deal of my time abroad. Uh, actually, I, I travel under... Danish passport. The signature's been tampered with. Your name isn't Denise Mandley, is it? No. It's Wanda Coleman. Then why did your driver's license say Gilda Dabney? I believe my life is in danger. That's why I've taken so many precautions. My real name is Chloe Lamar. Well, thank you, Miss Lamar. I appreciate your honesty. All right, can we stop playing games now? It isn't Mandley or Coleman or Dabney or even Lamar, is it? The initials on this handkerchief are AP. What does AP stand for? Armour Chalmers. Chalmers begins with a C. This is a P. Palmers. Armour Palmers. Listen, you give me the runaround one more time and I'm going to slap you around this office. I don't care what your name is anymore. Just make one up so I know what to call you. Vivian Purcell. That's better. Carmen Montenegro. That's my last one, I promise. I've moved to the Fairmont and I'm registered as Diane Gluxman. Yeah, well, don't change it because it makes it hard uh, leaving messages. I quit talking. You got something to say? Talk fast. Very well. There is no young niece, Caroline or Priscilla, or whatever Mrs. Danvers told you. She also didn't tell me it was Mrs. Danvers. Now, sir, let's not waste your time. Let's get right down to business. What arrangements have you made with a woman? Which woman? The woman who came to your office last night, Natasha Ulinskaya. Good. I thought you was talking about somebody else. Mr. Vega, I presume. Mr. Pakenpaw, you look startled. No, no, it's just that uh, you look like 
14 other dames that was here the other night. Yes, I know. They were my sister. Well, that explains the resemblance. Not to me. She was adopted. Yeah, well, so am I, but I don't look like your sister either. Do you have any money? Well, Daddy left a $10,000 trust fund for each of us girls, but as his wife, I can't touch it. Well, here's 20. Now, the first thing you do is you go to a beauty parlor and you get that cheap dye job washed out of your hair. Then when you're ready to tell me the truth, Mrs. Montenegro, call me. I'm getting sick and tired of playing and guess what the fruitcake's name is today. You're still sore about me up chucking on your trench coat, aren't you? You're good, baby, but you're not that good. I know who you're looking for and why you want to find them. Don't call me for three days, and when you do, use your real name. By the way, what is it? Hello? Mary Jones. I swear it, Lou. Well, change it. It sounds phony. Right. Right. I'll tell him. Who is it? Lady Edwina Morgan St. Paul. It's that crazy Mrs. Montenegro. Sorry, Angel. I'm going to have to give you that thanks some other time. I knew there'd be one more. Good night, kid. Good night, Lou. Hello. Certainly. Give it to the girl. Miss Shearer. Who? Norma Shearer. Well, you told me to change it. Sweetheart, I'd like you to meet the girls. My secretary, Bess, you've already met. Hello again. Ah, uh, this is Betty the Boop. A lot of laughs. Hiya, kid. Nadia, Gladia, Pompanescu, a little kinky, but nice. Mm -hmm, you bet, too. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Mrs. Uh, uh... Stanwyck. Barbara Stanwyck. La, 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 la.